everyone and welcome to the third episode of my vanilla or Samaj's Vanilla Adventure episode number three and today we're going to actually be doing nothing special like that, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing today, we're going to be playing Minecraft, doing some stuff, but we're going to sleep the night off first and foremost. Right, here we are in the daytime and it's no longer raining whatsoever. The monsters will be starting to burn, which is good to see. Right, today we want to try and get on with um, building our house, try and get some, we're going to try and get some farming going, because we're really struggling in terms of sustainable food at the moment, and um, starting to look at places where we want to actually finally settle down um, for this adventure. We want to settle down, I reckon, somewhere on the top of this mountain, because it's very, very cool and very big, but... We shall see how that pans out. Um, for now, we're going to go down and take a risk. We made it. Um, last time we obviously lost our first death, which is um, pretty disappointing in my, uh, in my books anyway, because that was just a rookie mistake, really. Um, not knowing that a creeper was there. Or knowing that a creeper was there, but going out anyway, and then uh, paying the price for that. We've got sugar canes already down here, so that's good. We're going to keep planting the sugar canes along. Um, yeah, my idea was to try and just make it realistic and actually um, plant just along this whole um, bay front here um, a nice wheat farm. So we don't have to do anything special. We just. Um, here we go. We've got, a, we've got a, an advancement a seedy place. Plant a seed and watch it grow. So yes, we've now placed our first seed and we're watching it grow at the moment. None of them have grown, but they are starting to get uh, fertilized, which is good. So, we want to collect wood, because we don't have much of it. We want to um, potentially look at um, places to settle as we sit up there. So, let's have a, let's chop this tree down first of all. We don't have an axe, which is a bit of a pain. So we're actually going to leave it for now. Um, otherwise, let us go to the top of the mountain and have a look. Also, um, I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure, for the first two episodes, um, I'm playing on the, on the, I'm not playing on anything, I'm playing on Minecraft, but I'm playing with the resource pack, um, I think it's called, Faithful. There's a bunch of uh, old packs here, but there's Faithful uh, 1.11. I'm playing on actually right now, and I'm also playing with the sound pack Rainy Day uh, 1.11 as well. What's this? I know I've put this here, but what what was it? Oh, I was just right. That was just coal. Um, I know that was the massive hole. This was the massive mine. Yep. Goodness me, it really does go quite deep and quite big, does it not? Um, we're going to head back. I'm, I was trying to, I'm trying to get to the top of this mountain, but I can't even get to the top of this small mountain. We have to get to the top of the big mountain. It's a bit of a disaster at the moment. Um, but as you can see, we really do need a way, a proper way up this mountain at the moment, as it's quite hard to climb up. Um, yes, so we want to try and get up there somehow. How, we may ask? I'm not really sure. It's going to require some mountain climbing, I would like to think. We're going to take a look around the other side. We've actually found some llamas just over here. Some nice dudes. Um, ideally, I'd like to find horses, because um, if, if you don't know, my horses are my favorite um, animal in Minecraft. They're just, just great. You can just ride them, you know. And um, it's, it's great doing horse to horse testing and um, finding your coolest, gr greatest and best horse as we actually see the view of the Mesa biome just over there. Look, looks very, very good, does it not? So here we are, we're at the top of the mountain here. My goodness me, would it not be an awesome base to have up here? Look at this. Look at this view from just up here at the edge of the mountain, at the peak of the mountain, in fact, apart from that little small dirt block, this should be the peak, really. Um, and look at this, we can really see, we can actually see our, 
our uh, wheat down there starting to grow. We can see a sugar cane. You can see it all, all from up here. I was going to say just up here. Well, it's a, it's a mile away. A long, long way up. So, yeah. Right. So, how are we going to actually build a base up here? That is a good question. We need to probably um, build ourselves like a house or some... I don't know what we actually want to build with with this mountain, because I know I'll kind of want to live here, but I don't know what I want to live in here with, like a, a cave house, or on a, do a nice spiral up, you know, that kind of stuff. I feel like we should do a spiral up, actually. Just because we can actually live in this part here, live underneath this, and, um, I'd like to put, like, some sort of, um, put my room, my main, um, bedroom or living room just beneath this and then be able to have um, a window just over here and make it ca camouflaged into the mountain so I can see while also having a viewing platform up here that's my kind of goal so what we're going to do first is actually build this the room in here um, so in order to do that we're going to have to find this the kind of level we want the room to be at so this is the viewing platform, kind of the roof level we want it to be, because obviously it's going to be pretty restricted in terms of um, height, because we don't want to terraform the mountain too much. We want to kind of go down to about there. Here, may maybe here the roof, something like that. Um, so we really need to be extra careful at where we place our h uh, the height of our, the roof of our little... Um, what do we call this room in here? So as you can see, I'm trying to look at the looking at block. Um, as you can see, I'm pointing my cursor to it about here. And I'm trying to look. So the height of that is 112. Is the ideal height we want to look at. So maybe even, yeah, so about there is we want to look at. So probably about 113, 114 would probably be the height. We might even be able to get away with just trying to make it down here and um, potentially have a, a, stair, a stairway up to where we want to actually go. So therefore, start here and in here. Do we have coal on us? Yes, we do, because I want to make sure that we've got torches in here uh, so that monsters do not spawn in here while I'm trying to, or while, when I go back down there. So at the moment, we can actually travel back down and up. Um, using this waterfall actually, so that's pretty handy, as long as um, creepers or anything do not blow us up, so that's pretty good. Um, the only issue is I do not know the kind of, oh it's a bit risky to get back up isn't it? Oh yeah, see, I can fall very very quickly. Just gonna, there we go, we're not gonna panic and with a few couple of extra steps we're gonna be able to get back up I hope. Hope just here, oh that was a well, that would have been a risky move, although I think we would have fallen just down there, hopefully. Oh dear, it's really hard to get back up. It really is hard. Um, there we go. Go back on up to the top. So we want to put um, torches at the top at the moment. Um, even though we like the snow up here, we really want to make sure that no monsters can spawn whatsoever. Otherwise, it becomes a bit of a nightmare having um, all sorts of creepers and whatnot spawning and then potentially jumping down and scaring us down in our little hole at the moment down there. Otherwise, let's get down here and start making this our base. Right, so the idea is I want to make it kind of too thick so that this can be the outside layer. You can look at the outside layer as normal stone. The inside will be the inside layer, which will be this. So we can have a bit of a different look, I guess, is the idea of that. Um, the idea of this is also we want to try and actually find how much room we've got with our bedroom at the moment. So we're going to try and dig till we actually hit the outside. Also, I have the capability to sleep through uh, days and nights now. So I'll be doing that uh, throughout the um, throughout this adventure. 
Um, I also like keeping track of how many days we've lived, though. So, we are just to say days. Does it say days in there? It used to say days somewhere. I'm trying to find where it says it. You guys can probably see it. Um, I'm just trying to find it, I'm sure. Oh, there we go, I found it. Next to local difficulty, of course. Day two, there it is. And while we've done that, it's actually turned dark. So, we're going to make a bit of a brave jump. Jump down here, but of course, if you land in water, it doesn't matter the height of the water in Minecraft. You, of course, hit the ground and take no damage whatsoever, so we're fine. We've got spruce wood. Uh, we're just going to sleep. Awesome. We are back, everybody. Sorry about that. I somehow managed to push full screen on my screen, and it really messed up the dimensions of the video, so that's fine. Um, anyways, we are back. Here we go. Um, so we're going to go straight back to the top of our mountain again. And um, eventually we'll obviously make, um, we'll probably make this into an actual, um, re either recreate this or leave this, make it into an actual um, pretty or better looking version of a, um, a waterfall. At the moment it just looks like a bit of a, a mess and a shambles as it's gone everywhere down in the bottom of the base. But, you know, it is what it is. And here we have found the edge of the mountain, as you can see. Um, so, we'll have a look from the other side, how it looks, if I can get there. That is a good question. And I can... Yes, I can. Okay, cool. However, because it just turned night, we need to be slightly careful of monsters. Um, I think we're alright, though, for today. So, if we have a look just down here, the mountain face does very, very quickly evaporate, so we need to be very careful. Just here is where we are looking at right now, in terms of the, the height. We want to ideally have it about this level here. Um, so that height's fine. It'll just mean that I need to probably increase the height to about here. But maybe even here, that might actually be fine. So... We'll just lay it, we'll lower this um, part if we need to. So yeah, that's perfect, perfect height, I would like to think. Now, we just need to make it within that kind of restriction. Um, and try not to... Try not to dig out the mountain too much and terraform it too much. Um, and not, try not to make our, our room in here too big. And uh, make sure it's not touching any outside parts so that creepers and skeletons and whatnot cannot ambush us. And we've got some coal here, which is good. We're going to fill up a little bit of a hole just to make sure that, you know, it, it is cobblestone right now, but I will come back later and put stone in there. I just don't have the resources to make uh, a lot of stone. I can make some, but it's just be unsustainable at the moment since I don't have that much cobblestone. Right. Okay, so, let's make this one taller. Okay, we need to be careful here. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it with cobblestone. Um, just to make sure that nothing gets in. Right. There we go. So, you're slowly chipping away here. Um, we should be able to put our um, our bed that we have up here as well, just to keep just to have our bedroom up here, so we don't have to keep going back for, back and forth, um, which would be great. We also got three torches, so we want to make sure that those go to good use and making sure that nothing spawns. So let's just be very careful down this path. Oh dear. Okay. This is a bit of risky scaling, I reckon. Um, I was going to place a torch there, there, and one more up here. Oh, look at that. Some coal. Let's try. Okay. No coal there, unfortunately. Um, so if you don't know, I'm just going to give you a quick look at um, what the torch torches do, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, it melts the snow in this kind of pattern. So two blocks away from the torch, except for it doesn't do adjacent, it doesn't do this block. It just does a two, a 
adjacent blocks and then these ones they just do it does one I don't know that's this pattern I don't know why it does it so um, yeah it is what it is right the next kind of objective that we want is we want to we start our farm we want to get some pigs uh, some sheep and some chickens and things like that and get a sort of barn slash you know trap them in an area in a fence sort of area and get them breeding so that we can um, get a more sustainable source of meat from those animals. I'm just going to try and look to scale down a little bit here. Thankfully, I think we can do so. Yes, we did so without taking a single heart of damage that time, which is good. We've got coal here, so we're going to mine that at some point. Got a tree, so right. We're going to go make ourselves an axe first. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell though, I'm very, I'm not a person to jump straight into the uh, the iron age and try and get lots of iron and diamonds and sort of things. I like to, to make my base um, and my surroundings as, um, as good looking as possible. Try and make things look realistic and livable so that by the time I do make a mine, I'm happy with the world that I'm living in. Either way, I'm sure most of you disagree with me because that's really not, you know, you don't, you, you know, if, if you'd be smart going for diamonds and whatnot first so that you don't die, etc. So that if the creeper ambushes me now, I'll get one shot. Whereas, um, you know, if you guys had diamond armor or whatever, you'd, you'd probably live and be able to kill him or fight. He'd die, obviously, but you'd be able to kill whatever else is behind you if there is more, etc., etc. And I've just realized I just made an axe for every goblin. So I'm pretty smart. I don't know how I didn't see the axe before, but then I realized there's two of the same sort of tool on the hotbar. What's going on? It's two axes, for goodness sake. Damn it. So now all of you are going to be yelling at that early instance when I was like, hang on, I can't chop this tree down because I don't have an axe. I'll come back and do it later. And of course I had an axe on me, so all of you were just like, oh, uh, really? You're stupid. So apologies for that. Um, we want to make a bridge from about here to here. So, it looks a lot longer than it, um, when it first does, doesn't it? Right. We don't have a spade or a shovel. That's the only issue. So we want to make it about three wide. Do we have more dirt? No, we don't have more dirt. We'll go and find a dirt patch like this. There's a piece of dirt here or something like that. Where it's not seen that like yeah that, that bit there we've got an apple oh that's a big tree um i'm not i don't i'm not a fan of big trees i'll be honest but oh well this is what it is um let's see what kind of i'm gonna grab this this dirt because why not because we need it and it doesn't really take away from the environment too much that does though what are you doing mate don't like floating stuff, you know. Apart from floating islands that uh, naturally exist. You know, that's fine. Um, right, let's get down. Right. Here we are. So from here, ideally, I would like to make... Ideally from here. I don't want that block there actually. Need that one either. Just like that, that'd be fine. We'll place this one here. Probably want another one to make it look like it's not floating, but you know, you can't get everything you want, so we'll do that later. Right, for now, I'm going to lay out the prospect of my bridge. So, about there. So we're looking at the coordinates, negative 6, 80, 96. So I'll write that in my chat just here, even though it doesn't really matter. I just want to do this for scoping measures. Um, unfortunately, though, it looks like we are out of time for this episode by the looks of the sun. So uh, I think we're going to head back inside and call it a day, guys. It's been um, quite a successful one. We've 
really decide what we want to do with our base and started trying to work out bridges and whatnot so we can travel around faster. But anyway guys, as the sun's setting, I will say goodbye. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Samaj's Adventure in Minecraft in 1.12.2 as of right now. And I will see you all in episode 4 next time. Goodbye guys. Please leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this. I've probably already mentioned this. So I'm just going to leave. Goodbye.